I think both our LinkedIn's have been in meltdown uh, and, and WhatsApp. Yeah. So uh, how are you feeling about it first week? Feeling great. Yeah, it, it is uh, the flow of information and the flow of kind of relationship and the flow of connection, you know, mm. it's nearly overwhelming, but it's, but yes, yeah, it's, it's uh, really humbling actually, Re and really exciting. So yeah. I'm, yeah, delighted. Delighted. I think uh, everyone's been looking forward to this week, so it's great to have you here, Jason. And um, I you. think one of the reasons we wanted to do this was just to bring the blog to life a bit from both sides. Obviously, you've moved on from a great business um, and, and joined another great business, if I do say so myself. And this has been a decision that uh, has always been in the back of my mind, really, since I started SNS. So, you know, I do I do know that I'm a founder entrepreneur first and a CEO second. So. You know, the first seven years it needed, the SNS needed a, the founder, uh, it needed entrepreneurial spirit, it needed that startup sort of CEO mentality, which it absolutely got in spades. Um, and it's been a, an amazing seven plus years. Um, I'm very grateful and over the moon to be, to be having this conversation really, because some businesses don't, don't get there. But, you know, there's, um, there's a time where you just got to realize to yourself that, um, you know, there might be someone better to take on um, SNS from a CEO perspective, whilst also recognizing kind of you know what my strengths are and what my unique abilities are. It's an odd world at the moment, but what has been really positive is you know the genesis of SNS is starting to play through now, which is you know innovative consulting models to uh, inspire future work and challenge the larger consultancies is is working. So uh, I never wanted to be someone who would be a part of the problem. I'm over the moon, we're here. <laughs> um, and now I'm here to support you and, and the SLT, but I think it's important that everyone realizes that, you know, this is still my passion, it's still my love. I, I, I love what we do. I, I want to inspire future work. I'm never gonna stop and, until we really take that to a wider scale. So this will still be a full-time um, thing for me in the ecosystem. Having, having studied engineering, I got swept up into the excitement of uh, consulting as a graduate right, with Deloitte for a few years. And I think you know, some of the large organizations have quite a big turnover in those early years and you know, sort of scratching my head and looking around. And I, I left to join the, you know, one and, or two of the best people I'd worked for at that stage who were, who were starting a new business, you know, which was Morehouse consulting where I've been for 18 years and, and um, that was a total startup. So, and so for me, this, there's really three stories, I guess, in there. There's a kind of consulting story, and I've had the privilege to work with some of the world's largest organisations, and um, you know, with the uh, leadership teams, the talented people leading those organisations, um, to work with them, to learn from them, and to learn how to build and grow a significant, you know, size consulting teams to take on big challenges. Some real, some real highlights there. Things I'm really proud of. You know, running the largest airline integration in UK history, you know, with British Airways and BMI and, um, you know, being involved in the vaccines deployment. So that's a consulting story. And then there's a, there's a commercial story, I guess, um, you know, in any growing business, you know, learning to be a business person, a commercial minded person, helping teams grow, having a healthy business, opening new sectors and markets. Um, and responding to new client needs and demands over the years and seeing these things shift and understanding what's coming next and staying humble and, and having that growth and that learning mindset with that as well, with, with what we're taking to market is, a, is essential. Um, but also the third story, I guess, is um, leading a business. And uh, I've had the opportunity, feel very fortunate to be involved in basically every aspect of a, of a professional services firm that's healthy and alive and growing and um, I absolutely love that um, and particularly uh, leading people working with people um, excited to be around talented people um, you know and trying to continually bring people into the organization who are better than you you know at whatever it is that they do and um, you know be amazed when you can set the conditions right you can set them up for success give them what they need and kind of watch them fly and and uh, I think that's the biggest, probably, sense of pride for me over the years. So, um, super excited um, about SNS. There's something a bit magnetic here, and um, uh, something exciting, something fresh. There's something that you know you can almost smell it in the air, and um, you know, in no small part, 
uh, Pat, this, this sense of momentum, this sense of adventure. You know, this, this comes from you, from your leadership um, and from the senior team here. And I think in my conversations that, you know, as we've had together, many, many of them that have moved from that's interesting to that's quite compelling to, crikey, I, could, I, could I even put this down? Could I, you know, could I turn this down? You know, it's a rare bird to find someone who has gone in as, you know, the first employee really um, to a very recognised consulting firm, um, Morehouse, which, which I always admired as, you know, um, an organisation that, you know, actually really implements real transformation and always watched the growth from afar. And finding someone who'd been at the start from almost like the first package of work <laughs> through the different machinations of you know the founding team the seed team crossing the desert when you're too big to be small to too small to be big and everything that comes with that so so the experience the tenure you as an individual your background your values your leadership style it was kind of a home run which i never thought i'd be able to tick all of those boxes now as i said i, I have interviewed well over maybe 200 people over the years your heads of consulting potential CEOs, you know, potential people that I felt could take this idea to a bigger, uh, a grander scale. And, you know, in the process, I, I, I some really ready-made CEOs that had, you know, would have guaranteed us, guaranteed us huge success. Guaranteed, straight away, but would have ruined what s, &S did. It's a remarkable thing to be serving a range of talented people in complex organizations that are affected by everything in the sweep of you know socio geopolitical you know influence the rise and the fall and the, the seasons and the technologies and the evolutions so it's a compelling environment so i think i think you have to love that i think you have to love the challenge you have to be curious um, i think you have to want to understand to build careers in in serving in a professional services context you know, these clients and these people and these organisations. Um, you have to be curious in, in where those things are headed, and what really drives them, what, what does success mean for them as individuals, as organisations, and in the context that they're in. When SNS are playing their best game and transforming businesses, we, we do inspire a future work. You know, um, the change site is inspiring a future work, but also what also is inspiring a future work is transforming businesses re-energizing the workforce, um, you know, re-energizing exec leadership teams and getting them to do their best, most valuable work, not only to each other, but for the business and for their customers. And, you know, obviously I'll keep banging the drum about uh, an award that we won uh, for um, a transformation that we did with a, with a business. But what was amazing for me on that was, you know, t two or three of the exec got headhunted on the success of that. Mm -hmm. And they're still following the blueprint that we put in there and coached doing their best work for those that stayed. And, and, and we talked about this, you know, I, I want to play that best game every day. I'm most effective and most energized when I'm out forward facing, making things happen. Um, if you look at all of my psychometrics and, you know, someone who can see things, you know, a year, two, three years down the line. Um, so there's projects that I'm working on at the moment where it's going to benefit um, SNS, so one's a very innovative project, um, which I can't talk about at the moment. So um, I'll be playing there. I'm going to be playing in market making, um, as I, I enjoy putting things out of the ground. So I'm going to be working very closely with Mike in the Middle East for our aspirations over there, which is good. Partnerships, uh, key relationships, um, the Change Society, forward facing, still full time. Um, got a few projects in my top pocket that I haven't told you about yet. But, <laughs> I would uh, be disappointed if that yeah, wasn't the yeah. case. So, um, <laughs> Always. Yeah, so still being the um, entrepreneur, founder, um, you know, coach, energizer, and, and you know, as, as I said at the start, I think, you know, there's a case to say we're only really starting to get going, so really excited about where it's all going. I'm really looking forward to seeing this organization flourish. You know, it, it's come a long way. Um, but there's so much that it could do. You know, it's a really exciting prospect when you look at each of the elements, the creativity, the talent, bringing this together. We need to strengthen certain areas to help us uh, scale a bit, 
you know, there are some, a few gaps to plug, um, you know, but it, that evolution and that preparedness is really um, fueling the growth um, that, that is going to come. And uh, they're gonna, we're going to need some others to join us on this journey. Um, for sure as we go and as we um, you know strengthen and deepen our capabilities but it's that whole alive kind of scene you know of going on this thing together and having an ambition that is bigger than any one of us could achieve um, and that's when you get a real sense of satisfaction a mild disbelief you know looking back that that you've come so far as you have and and to do it in a way that's fresh again coming back to what makes this organization different and what delights our clients and um, yeah, there's something special there that um, I'm really looking forward to working with.